Hi, does your child hate math? I mean, really hate it. Maybe tears, maybe sobs, maybe not in your world that kind of frustration and anger, but the guffawing and the dragging their feet, etc. Some kids are bored. I don't mean that. I'm talking about a disdain. They don't like it. Well, look, here's how it works. If you can figure out why they hate math, then you can figure out what to do with it. I'm going to go ahead and tell you why they hate it. Uh, children hate math because they're no good at it. It's kind of a human thing. Most of us, except when we're a little demented for some reason, don't like to do things we're incompetent at. And all that happens is there's a reinforcement. We do something and it makes us feel worse, dumber, you know, stupid, more ridiculous. Well, look, your kids might hate math, but there's something you can do with it. And I know what you want. I think you want your child to be confident and successful in this life. Whether it's with math or not is another part of the story, but let me share with you my recommendation of exactly what to do. First, option one. If your child is not good at math and so hates math, then what you want to do is get them good at it. Now, that may seem like I'm being silly, but it's not. The way you do that is first you get them to learn their math tables. Once a child knows math tables like that, 3 times 7, boom, right, 21. So once they know those tables, they are able to not look at math the same way. It's a very similar thing with foreign language. When you have a good enough vocabulary, you can start looking at the grammar. When you can instantly recall those math facts, it is powerful in their soul because they feel like they can do a piece of it and start making sense of how it works. Most kids that stay having to count 3 times and did it they never get there. It just doesn't work. The other option in this endeavor to get your kid to uh, do well at math would be, or the other piece of it, would, would be to get your child to work at a pace he or she can. In other words, math is progressive. It's kind of built in you know, one level to another to another. This is what makes it frustrating. They're always introducing new things to uh, students. Well, if you understand that, then the trick is to slow down when you're in difficult material and just go over it again and again and again. If a child did the same lesson every day, in a few days, he or she would be completely bored because they'd be totally competent at that lesson. If you go back and nail it down as they go, it makes all the math doable as they progress. So those, those two pieces. Now, there really is a second total option if your child hates math. And that is for you to give up, help them get by, and get them good at something else. I think that's quite reasonable. Look, sometimes you need to just understand that this isn't something this person is going to embrace. I wouldn't give up until they learn math facts and you've worked with them for a while and try to build their uh, confidence and their competence. But if indeed you know your child and you do, you can give up. You can help them get by. They've got to do enough math to do well. But the trick would be replacing it with something they can really excel at. Don't let them be mediocre at everything because they were not designed by nature, God, or anybody else you can imagine uh, to simply be mediocre at everything on the planet. Everybody has something they can be incredibly good at. Find that for that child and help them become good at it. So that is a context for confidence and success in all kinds of academic, relational, and personal endeavors. Hope that helps. Off to learn. Thanks.